back at it with another tutorial. My name is Michelle White and today in this tutorial we're going to learn about the data list application. So really the goal of this tutorial is to understand how to create a data list, how you can sort of easily manage integrations, and when I say integrations what that might refer to, and then I'll show you some examples of why you would use the data list. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So right before we dig in, let's just take a sec to describe why you would use the data list. So First off, if you have menu boards, menu boards majority of the time are going to use the data list application. Um, the way I think of how a data list is structured or really, you know, how, how does it work is essentially what you're doing is you're, you're creating multiple columns. And then after you create those columns, you're putting rows of information. So when I said menu boards is a good example, as you can see right here, this is a good example where you have item, then you have the price. Some people, they want calories. Some people, they want description. So therefore, we would use the data list application. Another scenario is some clients, they say, hey, you know what, Michelle, I have some, uh, I, have, I have an Excel file of birthdays, of corporate or employee, you know, birthdays. You know, I have a, a column with name, I have a column with a date, and a column of, you know, maybe what location they work. Um, anniversaries, right? Again, you might want to have a list of that, that information. Uh, we also have some clients who have maybe like a reporting information, like metric data. Um, again, another way we would use a data list application. So really two parts with the data list, right? The first part is you go in there and you, you create your data list from scratch and you're manually entering the information in. And that's what we're going to walk through today. The second way of using it is, is doing an integration. Integration, that can be anything from uploading an Excel file right into the data list. That could be you hosting or uh, you have the Excel file in, in SharePoint and you want us to pull that information that way when you make a change in SharePoint, it's just automatically updating onto your signage. Another way is maybe you're using a third party out there. You're using a different software and you want us to just pull that information in. Uh, again, we can pull that information through an API, maybe an FTP. Um, that would be another way where we would use the data list as an integration setup. As you guys can see here, so we are in the data list application. So obviously you can copy the data list, right? So if I select this one, I can now delete it, of course, and then I can copy it. So there might be a scenario where you create this data list and you want to copy it to another facility. Uh, this is where you would utilize that. Maybe you want to manage your columns. So again, we talked about how the data list is like an Excel file. I'm creating multiple columns. Maybe you want to change the name of one. Um, again, you would select that particular data list and then you would manage the columns. And then integrations here, which in this tutorial at the very end, we'll talk about integrations. So again, let's just kind of create one from scratch. So obviously it says create list. And I'm going to keep it simple, you guys. I'm just going to call this birthdays. We're just together going to create a simple uh, corporate or, or like a company birthday Excel. I'm sorry, data list. So I gave it a name. I hit OK. All right, so as you can see, it brings me to the next step. So it's asking, hey, what are all the columns that you want in this birthday data list? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to merge first name and last name as one. So I'm just going to do name. And then I need to tell basically the system like, hey, what is this column? Is it text? Is it an image? Uh, money would be good for menu boards. That way you don't have to hit the dollar sign. Uh, again, you could definitely do text, but hey, maybe you want to be lazy and just have that dollar sign be automatically added. Um, all these other ones that you're seeing here, the data list, the date, that's really for our touch screen. So again, we actually use our, our data list to build our touch screens. And so therefore, we have some different sort of formats is what I'll, I'll kind of call them. Um, but again, today, you're really going to be just using probably the text or the money. So I'll go ahead and use text. And then I'm going to hit add column. All right, so as you can see, I added that column there. So we're going to do our second one now. So I will do the date. And then again, I'm just going to do text for that. I don't need to worry about the other formats. And I'm going to again hit add column. All right. And then our second one, let's just do location. Because you know what? Maybe I am a uh, corporate company and I have employees in Minnesota. I have them in Wisconsin and North Dakota, South Dakota. I have them spread out. So I'm just going to do location. Again, I'm going to keep text and I'm going to hit add column. All right, so these are the three columns that I want to start with. Now, as you can see, I have this little grippy, so I can sort of drag and drop. I can rearrange these to how I want these to fit. On um, this type right here, this identity right here, which is true and false, and I kind of skipped over it a little bit, but 
essentially that's going to come into play if you're taking an Excel file and you're uploading it into our system. That's going to be more beneficial if you're dealing with the integration. Today, we're not talking about that. Today, we're strictly just talking about how do I create a data list? What would I use a data list for? Um, again, there's a tutorial that talks about that, and that will really do a better deep dive on, on why you would use that. At any point, if you want to change the name, you're like, ah, you know what? I don't like location. I just want to change it to something else. That's where you would hit this little edit file, and you could easily change the name. And then again, you can obviously delete one. So we'll just hit OK, because I like those three. All right, so here it is, you guys. Here's the birthday. That's the one that you and I created together. Let's kind of dig into here. So to do that, we're just going to double click right in. All right, so it's bringing us into this platform now. So now I want to add information, right? I, I've got the data list created. I've got my columns, but now I need to add information. So how you want to do that is you want to hit this button right here that says add row. All right, we're just going to fill it out. So I'm just going to do myself. Really boring, I know. And then location, I will just do Minnesota. And then I hit OK. And of course, I spelled Minnesota wrong. It's OK. We'll learn how to edit it. This will be a good, good little sample here. Um, all right. So now we want to add another person. So I hit add row. And we'll just do another employee here. I'm kind of shooting from the hip when her birthday is. And let's just say she is from Wisconsin. All right, so as you can see, I just go row by row. I'm adding information manually. Now, there's two ways to edit, right? So I've spelled Minnesota wrong here. So one way to edit the information is I can simply click right here. I can hit edit row and then make my change. That's one option. The other option is I can just click into this field and then just retype it out and then click away. And it will automatically save. So just know that there's two directions to do that. Now I can delete the row up here now, now that it's highlighted. So highlighting it orange, that's sort of giving you that visual indication that like, hey, you're on this row, do you want to delete it? I can also copy too. So that kind of comes in handy too, if you just need to kind of copy some, some of these rows, you can do that. Um, at any point too, now we talked about maybe rearranging the columns and that kind of sometimes happens once you like get all the information in, you might want to rearrange it, right? So again, there's there's two ways to rearrange it. So one way is you can just hit manage columns. And as I said earlier, is you can just sort of drag and drop. That's one way. And then I can hit OK. And as you can see, it's automatically already making that change. Now, the other way is if I hover over, you can see all the line chart changes, right? As I hover over, my mouse is changing. And I can simply just drag and drop that way. And then again, I can manage how much width, how much space I want each column to be. All right, so that is how you would simply create a ready-to-go data list, you know, on the fly. Now, let's talk about integrations a little bit. So I'm going to go back. So how do I go back? By the way, they call this sort of a breadcrumb. So how I'm going to do that, you guys, I'm going to go back to all lists, and that's going to bring me right back to right where we started. We're showing all my data lists. Let's talk about integration. So this Jira bug one is, is a good example, and I'm going to hit integration. So as you can see, it's bringing up a different interface now. Um, so this is one that's Excel file, but I'm just going to add a new one just so I can show you uh, how this would sort of look. So again, you're going to give your integration a name. Most people integrate or um, will name their integration based on what they're doing, right? So in the beginning, I gave you those examples, right, where it was like either SharePoint, uh, maybe you're using a, you know, a different software or a third party out there, and you're, we're pulling that information in. Uh, maybe you're manually uploading. So usually people will name the integration based on what they're doing. So I'm just going to say, uh, I'll just say tutorial. And then here are the different types. So that's kind of what I was talking about with an FTP or an Excel file, SCV file. So at this point, you would determine then what type are we sort of doing this integration for? Uh, and then depending on what you select, these two fields may vary. So again, you guys, I'm kind of hovering over this just because there is a tutorial that really digs deep onto this, but I just wanted to show you where you would go to set up that information. All right, so one more thing too, I just want to kind of talk about a little bit is that once you get the data in the data list, you're going to go into the front end here and you're going to use the data list widget. That's how you're going to pull the information from this application. 
So one thing that we have with the data list is we have what we call a filter option. So let me just kind of explain that to you. So a good example that explains this expression is a lot of corporate companies, they want to pull in birthdays, right? They want to pull in anniversaries and they want that in their digital signage. But they say, hey, you know what, Michelle, we're a corporate company. We have, you know, stores in Minnesota. We have stores in Florida. We have stores in New York. And what they want is on the New York screens, they only want the birthdays that the people work there, right? I mean, if me from Minnesota, my birthday is showing on the New York, they might be like, well, who is this Michelle girl? Like, you know, she's from Minnesota. I've never even met her. So what we can do is we can do a filter expression which basically, you guys, it's going to pull from this data list and it will pull from this location. It will say, all right, I only want you to show the names from Minnesota or I only want to show the names from Wisconsin. Maybe you want to do a filter expression where you say, OK, you know what? I only want to show a week's worth of birthdays. You know, maybe you're all in the same location, but you just have, you know, a lot of employees. That would be an example of why we would use a filter expression. So again, you guys, that was kind of the overview of the data list. You know, at any point, if you're like, oh, you know, you know, I still have some questions or, you know, I want to learn a little bit more, you know, definitely reach out to us. Give our support team a call. Let them know that you watched the tutorial. Let them know that, you know, these are your additional questions. And we'll definitely make sure that we answer them all. 